Good morning, second graders. How are you doing? How was your Tuesday? Well, hope you had an excellent Tuesday. Hope you understood your science practice. Remember to do the homework and write down your acronyms, the acronyms to your name and list number underneath each one of the descriptions of the videos, all right? Write it down on the very same day that you watch it so that your attendance and participation is taken into account for the final evaluation. That being said, bear in mind that you can always consult the contents, the contents of this grammar and verbs practice in your story center book in your grammar goals book. Today we're going to be dealing with questions using do and does and the usage of would like. That is to say, we're going to continue with what we have already covered in weeks one and two from contract six, okay? That being said, let's get started. Remember that we emphasize on the usage of present simple. How to use it? When something happens all the time or repeatedly. Santino has peanut butter breakfast every day. This is something that happens on a daily basis, right? Frida likes to color mandalas after the recess. This is something that happens all the time or repeatedly. Joshua enjoys bringing his dinosaur every Friday. Remember that on Friday, when we were in school before coronavirus, we used to bring our toys and we could enjoy all together. So example, I usually go on a trip at the end of the year. The bookstore opens at 7.30 in the morning. I wake up at 6 in the morning. This is something that happens all the time. It's a repeat. And how often we do things, how frequent. For example, every morning I jog in the park. Uh, every afternoon Tadeo plays soccer. Every, um, I guess it's Tuesday and Thursday, Camila has jazz lessons, right? How often do you go on a trip? How frequent? Her father doesn't smoke very often. This is when we use present simple. We had already revised these tenses in our contract, which is going to read a little bit and revise and remember what the contents were about. In grammar, you can double check the contents of this first week on the previous videos that we had on contract six. We have what do you like to do on weekends? Guys, when we talk about preferences, what you like and you dislike, you use the verb like in present. For instance, in affirmative, that is to say positive statements, I like to watch television. Gabriel likes to visit his brother and his sister in Ciudad de Mexico. Um, Fernando likes to dance reggaeton in the middle of the corridor. Uh, Iktan likes to watch documentaries on sharks. Okay, now negative. We use auxiliaries don't and doesn't. Remember that. I don't like to do homework. Mm, Said doesn't like when his grandfather calls him Tonio. All right. Uh, Miguel doesn't like to eat vegetables. Uh, Ana Paula doesn't like the centenarian to say that crocodiles are dangerous. Okay. This is negative and affirmative statements in present simple, but referring to our preferences. We had some questions that we had already checked, but we're going to do the reading anyway. This is from week one. We have number one. What do you like to do on weekends? Okay, Emilio. Hello, good morning. Can you read the affirmative? I like to stay at home. Okay, thank you. Negative, Francisco. I don't like to study. Okay, what do you like to do on the weekends? Aleida, good morning. Can you read the affirmative? I like play games. Very good. Negative. Frida. I don't like to go shopping. Very good. Question number three. What do you like to do on weekends? Darina. Affirmative. I like to play tennis. All of this in present, right? Negative. Uh, Jarexi. 
I don't like to do homework. So this is present simple in how we use it to talk about general preferences, okay? In general, we ask what the person likes or doesn't like. We use the present simple tense, but pay attention. When you request something, you ask for a favor or ask for or offer your help, it's voluntary, you use would. Repeat, would. For instance, we have grammar goals, singular and plural. Would you like a cupcake? Yes, please. No, thanks. In plural, would you like some strawberries? Yes, please. No, thanks. Remember singular, we use a. For plural, we use some. Do you distinguish the difference? There's a difference. When we use... Um, Things that we like on a daily basis, we use the present simple. But when we make an invitation, when we offer our help, we use would. Okay? For example, grammar goals. Would you like a cupcake? Yes, please. No, thanks. Would you like some strawberries? Yes, please. No, thanks. So, we we'll use would you like as an offer. And as a request, you say I would like. This is how we use would like. But remember, it's not the same when we talk about general preferences. When we use general preferences, we have to use the present simple tense and the verbs talking about likes and dislikes. I like, I love, I adore, I prefer, I enjoy, um, etc. We have several options, right? What do you like to do on Sunday mornings? Itan, hello, affirmative. I like to get up late. Very good. Negative. Santino, hello. Read the negative. I don't like to get up late. Okay? Number two. What do you like to do on Sundays? On Saturdays, excuse me. Giselle, hello. Can you read the affirmative? I like to go skating. Very good. Tadeo, negative. I love you, miss you. I don't like to stay at home, okay? Now, what do you like to do on the weekends? Miguel, affirmative, hello. I like to read, thank you. Negative, negative, Juan Diego, negative. I don't like to watch TV. Okay, guys, what is important here is to distinguish the difference. Whenever you offer things to someone, you use would, repeat, would. Would you like some chocolate? Repeat. Would you like some chocolate? Would you like a slice of mango? Repeat. Would you like a slice of mango? Would you like a cup of coffee? Repeat. Would you like a cup of coffee? And when you invite somebody, you make an invitation, like to the party that we had for Frida and the party, the pizza party that we had for Juan Diego. Would you like to watch a movie with me tonight? Repeat. Would you like to watch a movie with me tonight? Would you like to walk with me outside? Repeat. Would you like to walk with me outside? Would you like to have dinner with us this weekend? Repeat. Would you like to have dinner with us this weekend? So basically, this is what we have been studying on weeks one and two from contract six in terms of grammar. Okay, now let's watch this dialogue, okay? This is dialogue watching for contextualization. Pay attention to the conversation. Let's play outside. Sorry, I can't. It's cold and windy. This is an invitation. Let's play outside. Use your imagination because in Mexico we don't have snow. But let's suppose that we are in Canada. Uh, Tadeo mentioned that he went on vacation last year to Canada, right? Remember, Canada is a very cold in winter and we have snow in Canada. Uh, we also have snow in the United States and everywhere around the world except for tropical countries, right? So she says, he makes the invitation like, why don't we go outside and play with the snow? She says, sorry, I can't. It's cold and windy. Let's continue. 
So the action is in progress. Look, it's snowing. It's all white. Do you like snow? Yes, I do. It's a general preference. Do you like snow? Yes, I do. Camila, do you like music? Yes, I do. Camila likes music. Remember when we talk about third person, we need to use an S. Let's see, um, hmm, Yaretsi, does your brother like pizza? Does your brother like pizza? Yes, he does. Very good. Gabriel, hello. We usually have you sit down next to Iktan, okay? So I'm going to make a question to you, but based on Iktan's preferences. Gabriel, does Iktan like pizza? Does Iktan like pizza? No, he doesn't. Very good. Ana Paula, hello. Uh, does Said like megalomania? Does Said like megalomania? Yes, he does. All right, let's see. Let's go. A snowman? Sure, I can. Remember that when we studied lesson seven or eight in grammar goals, if I'm not mistaken, Miss Wendy had already started. We talk about possibilities like can. Can you make a snowman? Of course, we have the possibility, but we don't have snow in Mexico, right? This is a very strange dog. The dog has wings and it's flying. It's like a fairy dog. What's that? His nose. So, uh, maybe you're not familiar with this situation, but when you make a snowman, you use different things. Like you use sticks, wooden sticks for the arms. You use buttons and you use like scarves. But for the nose, you use a piece of carrot or one entire carrot. So that's what the dog is doing, putting his nose. Wow, a nose! Okay, time to play along. Let's role play. Let's play outside. Repeat, let's play outside. Sorry, I can't. It's cold and windy. Repeat. Sorry, I can't. It's cold and windy. He said. Look, it's snowing. Repeat. Look. It's snowing. It's all white. Repeat. It's all white. Do you like snow? Repeat. Do you like snow? Yes, I do. Repeat. Yes, I do. Can you make a snowman? Repeat. Can you make a snowman? Sure, I can. A snowman, you're good. Repeat. A snowman, you're good. Okay, guys, we're going to continue watching the rest of the conversation and we will distinguish the differences between like and would like in the second part of the video plus the homework. Stay tuned. I miss you.